Let's fix some cars. Cool. Yo, what up, OJ? What up? What up? First. Sent some likes. Thanks, man. Right off the roof. Ripping it. What size were the back of these bolts on the caliper? Uh, those were 14s. 14. Cool. Be a 21 for the mounting bracket. 19 millimeter on the lug nuts, 2010 GMC Acadia, front wheel drive, rear wheel be bearing replacement. Love the bag. Got you. Let me grab a screwdriver. Screwdriver! These bearings are pretty notorious for season and nice and good. Oh no! Come on, baby! Oh yeah. Got it off there bare handed. Never happened in the rust belt. I wanted to. Oh well, that's not gonna happen today. Sorry. If we stand, <laughs> if, we, if we stand right here, they can't see nothing. But like right now, where you are is like perfect. Yeah. Like on the stream uh, from Tommy. What up? What up, David? Justin? Watching from Canada, Montreal. You got that? Yes, sir. Go ahead and just start taking everything apart. We got a wheel speed sensor back there. Got some more likes. Let's go. Oh, pretty loose. Let's kiss it. That's good. Somebody was nice and put some ACs on there for us. They put a lot. A little, a little overzealous, but hey, man, appreciate that guy. It's a lot of NECs. Looks like we got a locked up. Uh, oh, yeah. That's a little uh, slide penny, eh? Let's go take this over to the bench, take a look at it. It needs brakes tomorrow. Yeah. I would, don't, even, don't even mess with it, Jamie. Don't mess with it? I'll give him a call and say he needs brakes tomorrow. Alright, well, I mean, the pen still needs to get freed up. We'll do it all when we oh, do no, it. No, Maybe. We'll do it all when we do it. Oh, that is peeling. Um, we need a torch bit for that. Well, I don't know what happened there, bud. Look at that. Both go just fine. Previous repair. Who these knows? toes. Caliper. Who knows? Who knows? So let's get some uh, PB on that little dude there. Do the cast removal. <laughs> All right. Yo, JD Master with the follow on Twitch. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Let's pick that bad boy up today. Looks like it's going to be 10 millimeter. Millimeter. Probably be an open face match there, This guy is probably not going to come out without any heat that torques. Yeah. We got a Torx that looks pretty rusted in there. What the crap?
out there because we don't really have a, a direct line to the. Uh, well, the wheel the speed sensor point. doesn't have to come out. No. No. Don't worry about it. All right. No, not fuck it. Oh. Here's Cohen getting off the bus. All the kids can see if you can open that stick. We'll see if it comes out. Oh, yeah, the torch bolt came out. Grab a big hammer. Big hammer. Yeah, he could use some. He could use some rear rotors, too. Ooh, you're okay. live stream. Yeah, we're on live stream. TikTok. Facebook, TikTok. Twitch, TikTok. YouTube, Ooh, six years. Locking the camera. <laughs> yeah. Got some love taps, some fuzzies. Vehicles. That's a heat shield vibrating. Sure to have this. Oh, yeah, we get shield. a little bit of this on there. It's starting to break free. Is it? Well, what up, Yex? Rex? Michaelin? David? Hit it with your purse. Hit it with your purse. I like that. That's funny. Eh. Thanks, Good Yukon. Night. Brake rotors now. We're doing a hub assembly today, uh, Long. Is that his name? What? What? This thing is uh, pretty rusty. There is. Let's see if I can get the camera up in here. We'll put the TikTok camera up in here. So you can see the rust in the hole. There's rust. You see all that? She's pretty rusty. It's a rusty girl. Let's see if I can grab this camera and put it in there. Can he do it? One man, one camera. Two cameras. How's it looking there? Ah. She's pretty rusty. Rusty straight through. Oh yeah, that was the last one she needed. I just need one more hammer strike. One little love tap. Oh, there goes an e-brake shoot. Yeah, it's it's uh, time for a new rotary. These e-brakes have been rubbing. The e-brakes have been rubbing on this rotor. So they were just loose in there, off their backing plates, just running around in there. We're going to have to inform them at this hub assembly that we should go through all his brakes. It's too late in the day to get another parts delivery. But we can get this done. Let him know what he needs. <coughs> You can hear this bearing just spinning it this slowly with the hand. You can hear it on the road when you're turning left. You can hear it make noise. When you're turning right, it gets quieter. That's classic right side wheel bearing symptoms. And we just got to take the bolts off the back of the oh. hub assembly. There'll be an 18 millimeter back here. 18 mil. Here, pop them on your uh, impact if you got one. 
You're going to be able to get it right through the... Uh, What's up, here. Joe? Maybe. If I'm lucky. Too much extension, you, you know, lose torque. Losing torque and turn it off my air, man. I'm going to go half-inch ratchet with the bar. There's a half-inch ratchet. I'll go grab the bar. It's uh, right down here somewhere. I found it. Here you go, Bob. What up, chat? Try to do it the easy What kind of car is that? This is a 2010 GMC Acadia. One of them, Lair. We're in Michigan, so everything's rusty around here. This one ain't too bad, actually. Looks like it's got a good, healthy amount of dust on it, so keep oh, the yeah. rest off. He, he lives on a dirt road. I know this guy. Well, I would hope so. It's not getting easier. The bolt? It should be. But the impact might take it off now that I got a crack free. If you want to. Grab that impact. What'd you do with the Merrick stick? There we go. There's one hub bolt out. There you go. We'll crack the other one by hand. Charge our air compressor back up, it's a little loud. This one might be the tightest. It's a tiny one. This one might be the tightest. Pretty tight. Twight like a swagger. Yeah. Rusty threads that come through this side. We'll let that compressor charge up and then hit it. Oh yeah. Oh that's fun. Oh yeah. What's up guys? What's up Max? Thanks Max. Loctite, Rust, Ugga Duggas. Got you David. Northern Illinois, yeah, you guys see a lot of rust too. Thanks for the sub. I can't say your name. What is it? El Jubo Drag. What are you up to today, Mike Lid? Yeah, everything rusts out around here. What's up, TikTok? How you doing? 
We're also live on the Twitch and the YouTube and the Facebook. Doing a little multi-streaming. Fred, thanks for the like, man. What's your favorite car? I don't know. I don't really like cars that much. I just fix them. St. John, New Brunswick, Canada. What's up, Jason? Man, this is actually pretty good. What's up, Robert? All right, you ready to hit it? Oh, I gotta take my medicine real quick. He's eating a twin. Candy feet. lion teeth. Guess I'll do everything. More specifically, the root. I'm getting there, man. Yeah, you do it all. Pay me to sit here and look ugly. Yep. That'll work. <laughs> I told you this one was the tightest one. It's not getting it. We gotta do this one by hand. Alrighty. Got a little, eat, a little rust in my ear. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the like, man. Russ, we're in uh, we're in Michigan, Tommy. So we get it pretty good too. Where's that? And her own. I'll do some merch. We'll talk to him. We'll let Jamie get the last bolt out of the back of that uh, hub assembly. It's a tedious job, but somebody's got to do it. They're in there pretty good. The rust builds up on the end of the threads that come through. So when you're backing it out, it's just tight the whole way. Sometimes it helps if you just impact them forward after you brought them back out a little bit and it cleans the rust off, then the impact will bring it bring it out. But, yeah. It's more than one way to skin a cat, you know? Yeah, any anywhere up there in the northeast, Midwest. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Michigan, what is it, that uh, salt mine underneath Lake Erie, we get like a ton of salt. Henry with the fallow, let's go. We get a ton of salt. Um, because we're near the world's largest salt mine or one of the largest, something like that. I think it is the largest. But Canada's right there, too, on the other side of Lake Erie. I don't know if they mine the salt right there, too, or not. Yeah, I'm not sticking a torch in there. It'll be all right. Just manhandle it. I heard that. Why is he doing that now? Uh-oh. Bring the bolt, bring the bolt back and forth. The ratchet starting again. Yeah. Switch over to the other half inch. Life, lifetime warranty. We'll just turn them back in. This one sounds a little better, at least. Those half inch Craftsman ratchets are pretty tough. Their quarter inch and three eighths ratchets are all garbage. Don't buy them. I've had those two Craftsman ratchets since I was young. The half inches, the old half inches are pretty tough. Uh -oh. Best three eighths ratchet on the market is that Harbor Freight. It's that black, black handled one with the red Pittsburgh on it. I'm telling you, I love it. Fine tooth, but I've put it under some pressure and it doesn't break at all. For, for that. Oh yeah, the Craftsman's the anything new Craftsman is is garbage. Yeah, I got Craftsman. It's three eighths dry, older than I am. And it still works like a dream. 
any of the newer ones are junk. I have never gone to, I've never crossed the bridge to Windsor. I've, I've ridden on a boat underneath of it a couple I've times. Once. <laughs> but, I never crossed, I never crossed the bridge, even though I'm just like an hour and a half away. All right, bud. Thanks for the likes over there on TikTok, guys. Just saw that. Dropping some hearts. Cool, cool. All right, that's out. Now this is the tough part. Getting it out of there. Mm-hmm. From the back with an impact gun. An impact chisel. Start hitting it with this. Thanks, Robert. That helps pull it apart there. Gear wrench is alright. I've broken a lot of their ratcheting wrenches, but they last for a while before I break them. This one doesn't really give us anywhere to uh, hammer it out on. You don't have really very much room. And we're going to do this without a hub shocker or anything. Rusty Shackleford. Rusty Shackleford. Over in the TikTok. What up? <laughs> Love that name, by the Trying way. Trying to get into the automotive industry. The internet's your best friend if you want to learn anything. Google, YouTube. Anything like that. I like that hat tip to Dale Gribble, man. That's a pretty good one. It's a nice hat tip. Rusty shit. Oh. Alright, there's our parts. Parts just came in. Alright! Parts good! Hey, got one of them too, Jeffrey. A couple different floor jacks. They come in, even though we have a hoist, they still come in handy for different things. Like, for sure. Sometimes we just need to jack up on a control arm a little bit, and the under hoist stand is too tall. Anything to start breaking it up, we got the sensor right there to be careful of. Yep. I'm just making sure I can get a hold of it. Fighting the landing Nice weather, man, today. I'm liking this. This is good work. This is nice. Yeah. It's not all super humid, it's just, it's decent. Good day, man. We got out cheap today. Yeah. yeah, we've been busy. We're hitting the marinas, man. They want batteries and spark plugs. Sounds about right. It's yep. about that time of year. Yep, gotta get them boats in the water. They want them today. Yeah, we live next to a resort town. They got a couple marinas out here. A lot of folks like to bring their stuff up here for the weekend. Yeah. They, they get them uh, stored up here, and these folks take care of them pretty good. But, yeah. Yeah, a lot of boats in this area. We've got a lot of lakes, a lot of boats. we got we got something called the uh, party sandbar area. Everybody just parties out there. Oh, okay, yeah. Right. Oh, we go, we get along. Guys, you have to do it, man. Take her easy, bud.
Stop. Does it look like she's pushing out at all? Uh-uh. Yeah, I don't think so. These ones are a pain. I'm gonna use the old bolt method where we put a bolt through the hub assembly and push it out. Trying to figure out how I'm gonna do it on this one. Alright, you figure that out. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Every time you hit that, it's spinning and then it twists the that bit. I'm like, man, just tearing up my hands here, buddy. This does not have a solid <coughs> backing plate or anything to go on. Mm. I'm wondering if it's even going to hit. Need a hub shocker. Buy. Buy your own tools. Uh, yeah, that sucks. Tools are expensive, man. What tools to get and what brand? Don't worry about uh Don't worry about buying the most expensive ones if you're just starting out. You know, test the water. Get what you can get. Ooh, I got an idea. Want to disassemble all the e brakes? Can't get my polar in this one. Oh, the last one of these I did was on an enclave and it fought me the whole way. They're pretty horrible um, when they seize in there like this. I want to, yeah, I want to run a bolt through, but that one's. That head's wrong, but this is the right. But it's side. it's not a thick enough bolt. It's not gonna. No, it's not gonna pop it off there. No, it's not gonna get it done. <coughs> I thought, I thought for a second, just maybe, fully. Wind shifted directions coming from this way. Weird. What we can do is hammer one of these studs out. Put it over the bolt hole. Put it over the bolt. Thread the bolt in through this way and hit the bolt with the impact. That's one way to do it. Well, if we disassemble the e-brakes, it gives us more room. That's a that's a disassembly on that. Yeah. It's not too complicated. Just a spring down here and a spring up here. Gives us more room to goof around. I don't know what we're gonna do. Suppose we gotta sit here and think about it. You can't even you can't even get these studs out unless you chop them off and then pop them off. Yeah, because they're just gonna hit the back. Yeah, this is a tricky one. 
This isn't going to be an easy one to do. That's a certified genuine head scratcher right there, I tell you what. What tools to get? I don't know. Just go to Harbor Freight and get a bunch of them. <laughs> no, Amazon. You can get, uh, you can start off with something like this. Here's some Jaeger tool uh, ratcheting wrenches. Got to have ratcheting wrenches. Stubby and long. Really helps. Uh, for 70 bucks, you can get a full metric and standard set all the way from 8 millimeter to 19. $70, that's it. You don't have to go straight to the Snap-on or Matco or something like that if you're just starting out. Right, and for $2.50, $2 you can get a six-pack of these here operator. Where are you at? There you are. These, these here operator kicks, man. They're, uh, they're fuel for the operator, you know what I'm saying? Six of them in a package. Just get her did, you know, chomp in there. Um, That's good Harbor stuff. Freight ratchets will work just perfect for you. <laughs> uh, I had a Matco Impact that I had for over a decade. God, it was like 20 years old. <laughs> and uh, it was amazing. Loved it. Uh, one day the gear snapped inside, and so I just went down to the closest hardware store and got the Craftsman 750 Impact for like 100 some bucks. It's been doing me just fine. I haven't tracked down the Matco truck to return that one for warranty yet. So you don't have to spend, you know, a ton of money. Um, battery Impacts. Vroom, vroom. Get some Ryobis for like 100 bucks. Couple cheap socket sets from Harbor Freight, impact socket sets. Look for the deals online, man, because it is expensive to start with no tools and then go to something. What's good, VLX? Thanks for the sub. Mudasir. Flea market. Robert says flea market. This is a question in the TikTok chat about uh, tools, how to get the cheapest tools. 35 minutes, yeah, we got a Harbor Freight like 25, 30 minutes that way. So, I mean, it's not horrible, but it is kind of a... It's going to be an hour trip if you have to go there. But at least all their hand tools are lifetime warranty, so you don't have to worry about um, breaking anything. And I'm trying to figure out how I want to go about getting this hub off. I've been doing this for a long time, and it's not often you come in contact with a hub this bad. I knew what I was getting myself into, and I need to break down and buy a hub shocker. I started from scratch, this whole garage, no mortgage, no rich parents, nothing, so there's still tools, still tools that I need to get. I need a big old bearing puller. Even a slide hammer bearing puller is going to do nothing for these. You got nothing to press against at all. The only thing that would work is a, maybe a hub shocker would work. I need to get one of them one of these days. And it's not set up very well to uh, hammer the lugs out and put a bolt through. The only way that's going to work for me, the steering knuckle or the spindle pretty much butts out to the hub and that's it. This is just a backing plate and if I try to use a bolt to go through, it's not going to do anything for me. Mailman! Disassembling the e-brakes is going to give me more room to hammer. It's going to give me room to torch inside there. The only other thing I can do... is 
is cut a stud in half, hammer it out, and then put a bolt through to, to send an air chisel through the other way. It's the only way I'm going to get this one off, maybe. What you got for me today, Chris? Anything good? I don't know. I got to scan that again. It says it's a bad code. Your bad code. Look at that. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? I'm gonna open it. That's gonna say international. It's not. I'm gonna bring the torches out. studs out and ram a bolt through. Well, I'll get to ram it.
these speeds. Oh, I didn't cut it off short enough. It's barely touching. Uh-uh. Lies. Barely touching. Alright, let me get for the camera again. So this is what we got in the mail. Sure, uh, Ryobi. She got uh, three speeds on her. Pretty nice, yeah. yeah. There we go. We got her charging up right now. Take uh, you know, quick peek at her here, maybe uh, another time. We can't even get a we can't even get a bolt through on that side. Torch some more. Well, how how torchy do you feel there, bub? The hole won't even line up with the hole. I'll have to expand this hole. Dang it! Now we gotta melt the hub assembly if we want to use the old bolt trick, running a bolt through to help pull it out. Stupid! It's so stupid! Yeah, maybe I take these e brakes off. What do you think? Give me more room. Start getting her hot inside of there. She's uh. Look at cock eyes in there, actually. Come back here. It looks like the top is further out than the bottom. We might be able to get it and knock it back in there a little bit. And then uh, a couple more blows from the back. Yeah, I want this pad out of the way so I can give it some blows at the same time this way. Yeah. Maybe put some heat to it with the pad out of the way. That would help a lot. Get in there hot. You can come from the back to do that. Oh, I'm done. See, a two jaw puller, it's got nothing to go against. Uh, you can't use a press. And these don't sit in there that far, but every time I do one of these, they're just seized right up in there. Every Buick Enclave, GMC Acadia, and Chevy Traverse rear hub assemblies. Every one of them is like this. Just rotted right in there. I think I'm gonna take this shoe off. Alright, bud, you do you. See how she rolls. I could melt some of that hub so that the bolt lines up. It's almost there. You don't start in the threads cross threaded. Definitely separated up there. You think we're getting somewhere? Well, I can definitely see separation at the top. There's, there's a definite uh, difference in the way that it's seated in the back side there. There's a lot more. And then when they start to cock, then they jam in there further. So oh, you got to work the other side. So we got to go this way now to get it back to where it was. Or hit it with the air chisel. On the other, on that side, the opposite side of whatever side is coming. Well, it's top it was the side that's starting to come, so it hit from like the right here, right? Yeah. I want to get some good hammer blows right here. All right, let me go get that. Well, e brake clasp. <coughs> well, the e brake pen. Star wheel adjuster. Oh, hey, my 
Watch out. Actually, a lot easier to come out than the last three I've done. That's uh, on Acadia. Pretty messed up there. <laughs> wow! Oh boy, that was fun. All right, now you get to clean this up with the wire wheel, Jamie. Oh boy! Get her cleaned up. Watch out for that sensor. There's a lot of corrosion and rot here. We we'll bring TikTok over. See, there's just a bunch of corrosion. Can they see? There we go. Corrosion. There's a huge rust lip right here where the hub assembly was. There's the backing plate. I think a hub shocker would have got that one off. I. The last one was a no-go. The last three I did. I had to heat, torch, bust, everything. But uh, there's a nice little rust lip built up, like a quarter inch there and there. That was holding it in. We've got all this corrosion. Corrosion. It's just... Just rock. Ooh, the camera's glitching. What the heck, camera? There we go. Glitchy camera. That yeah, came out easy enough. Just need to... See, these hubs don't stick out very far. So there's nothing to hammer on. There's no way to get a tool in there. You can't use a two or three pronged bearing press. And I don't have a hub shocker. Jamie's going to clean it up all nice and pretty. Chevy. The all-wheel drive gives you something to press against. Yeah, I got the oxy settling torches, Robert. How much do we spend shopping? Yeah, our ride, but how much we spend shopping? Thanks for the sub. What is that? Malik? AK? What up? Sammy and Peter with the likes. Appreciate it. It's the goggle. He he loves wearing those goggles. We got safety glasses. He likes his four wheeler goggles. That's why he likes using. They're comfy. They're padded on the inside. Yep. Made for riding for hours. Comfortable. Man, comfortable on the face. Comfortability is definitely a big thing for me, man. I'm a 
gonna go ahead and pop this Bill's Speed Sensor off. It's just so dirty in there. If it'll come out, don't fry on it. It will snap. They right. they love to snap, especially with that much corrosion and stuff. Michael, thanks for the like, man. We do got that brand new set in there, don't we? Those. Brand new set of wrenches? Yeah. Oh, right here on this wall. That way we got ratcheting wrenches is on both walls. We're missing a few from that set, so if it's one that's missing, you can come right over here. I like it. I like it a lot. Actually. Dan! Lieutenant Dan with the like. What's up, Dan? Lieutenant Dan! You know Lieutenant, Lieutenant Dan, you, you ain't know, got no legs! You know you know Lieutenant Dan, don't you? Lieutenant Dan. Ray's brother? No, you don't know? Got nothing. No, oh, no. See, now this one's just too big. Yeah. That's the problem with ratcheting wrenches. They're more bulky on the ratchet side. Yeah. They... These uh, wheel speed sensors that are put into the steering knuckles here in Michigan or anywhere in the Midwest, Canada, um, Northeast USA, they just all seize in. You can try to get them out. But don't pry on them too much or you're, you're going to end up paying for a wheel speed sensor too because this style wheel speed sensor is built into the knuckle, not the wheel bearing, not the hub assembly. Jamie's going to try to get it out, but if it feels like it's going to break, we just stop. <coughs> the dust, the dust that's getting me. That is why I took my medicine. PSA, if you guys have got allergy seasonal especially anything to do with uh, pollen. Um, if you get a chance, take yourself outside, grab yourself a little pocket knife, find yourself a nice little patch of uh, dandelions, dig up the roots, let them uh, sun dry for the afternoon. By the evening, you'll be able to uh, chop up those roots after you clean them off real good, and uh, you'll be able to make a decent tea out of it. Now, if you don't like the taste of root, you can add a little bit of honey. Uh, raw local honey is the best. And uh, basically what that does, it helps with your uh, seasonal allergy issues and uh, keeps the sneezy nastiness out of your, out of your head. You're Pretty supposed nice. to get lucky uh, local honey if you have allergies because they're taking everything from all the flowers and, that are in your area. And it somehow helps with allergies. I don't know. Something I read. I like it. It works pretty good for me. I've been doing it every season. It's never failed me. I don't have to take Claritin. Pretty nice. Now, I'm not going to fry on this. Yeah, Jack. A lot of times, uh, the hub assemblies come with the wheel speed sensors. But uh, not on this one. Not on this one. It's built into the steering knuckle. Oh, the holy light on the uh, 10 millimeter. Oh, I might do my own version of that one of these days. We got a nice little beam of light coming in through that window over there. We could do our own 10 millimeter one. Yeah, that's quite a bit of corrosion in there, isn't there? No. Really, really doesn't want to come out not easily enough. No, don't break it. They're very sensitive, the wheel speed sensors. Right. It, it doesn't take much for, to kill them. And then you're replacing a sensor too. Well, I suppose I could get, get after that with a hand uh, brush. Break them out, drill them through, and then put the new sensor in if you break them. Most of the time you gotta drill them through. So we'll put the e-brakes back together before we put the new hub in. Make sure you don't got any metal shavings sticking to your wheel speed sensor.
have to uh, hit this too. New hub assembly right here. There's a magnetic ring on the back of it. Don't let that get hurt. That's what the wheel speed sensor picks up on. Jerry, yeah, I was about to say, did you grease that up? You want to grease both sides of that? Uh, just, just the hub contact is what I greased. Or we need to grease. Alrighty. E-brake cable's fighting a little bit. There we go. One more. Yep. spring in one more spring to go almost got these e-brakes put back together the spring goes between here and here
Oh, hammer. It's a hammer. Getting all the hub bolts started from the back by hand and we'll kind of work them crisscross pattern so it sucks the hub in straight. There we go. All started by hand. See if I can get a look at the rear brake pads on the other side.
seven hours later. It's fruitless. It's alright, I learned something today. Hey. Getting it done. Making progress. Absolutely trashed. We got to do a uh, brake recommendation. I mean, like on the front side, it's like, all right, it looks pretty bad. And look at the, the inside. Go to the inside, and that's even worse. Is that screw? All right, shell. Ratchet. it. Right here, you gotta line up the rotor with the hub with the little retaining screw. Some people like to leave them out. I like to put them back in. In, in the rust belt, they could be a real pain to get out. Yeah. Sometimes, this one wasn't too bad. Yeah, it's for the all wheel drive option. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Alrighty. So all I wanted to hear, the only difference between the all-wheel drive and the uh, and the front-wheel drive is having splines in the middle. It's the same size hub, everything's the same. So this company just makes them all like that instead of having two different casts or whatever. Do you want to show this off or no? Take a picture of it, uh, show it to the people at home. That's how thin his brake pads are. This camera's lagging a little. Those brake pads are thin. It's wagging. I don't know why your camera would be wagging. Don't you? Eh, it's just lagging. It's being a lagger. I might be run. It's probably because I'm running too many things at the same time. We're multi-streaming to Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook all at the same time. And she just a multi. What up, Nadine? It's cracking. And the chat slowed down for the Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch, but uh, picked up a little bit for the TikTok. A couple, couple ten people watching on the TikTok. We're getting it all put back together. And you might see this one in here in a couple days for some brake work. All we can do today, we got the we got the hub assembly in. If we wanted brakes, we'd have to drive a half hour to go get them. If he gave us the okay. Nice and tight on those back bolts for the mounting bracket. They're big bolts. They're what, 21 mil? Yeah. Yeah. Get them nice and tight. You want to get them tight enough so that your elbow pops three times if you're over 30. Right. I think you got that one tight enough. Like it. You like? Did you like it? You like the amount of strain I put on there? <laughs> I couldn't feel it, but couldn't feel it, but it looked like it. Yeah, but I, you know I'm weak, so there's that. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, the oh, coil I... the coil spring only gives you a couple inches to work with between the backing bolts. Squeeze those pads together. And uh, make sure your slides are loose. These ones are. I feel a little bit of rust in the top one, it seems like. But it's going to need new brake pads like this week. 
or else it's going to start grinding. But it doesn't, you know, doesn't even matter if it starts grinding because the rotor's thrashed anyways. Thrashed, bro. Completely. Needs new parking brakes. New brake pads and new rotor. And these ones, when you turn them, sometimes they spin on the sliding hardware, so you might need to put a wrench in there if you're doing them. Well, these ones aren't spinning, so there's that. They're just little bolts on the outside. Get them nice and tight, but don't don't give them no duggers or anything. They will snap off. Then you're getting new hardware. Yeah, if you just buy them, I recommend a swivel. Just get you in there a little better. Or a smaller ratchet. Even there, yeah. Oh, you're spinning. Oh, I am spinning. I'm, hold I'm holding it. Oh, what a guy. Sometimes you can hold them with your hand. Sometimes you can. Spike me a little bit. That about does it, guys. We throw the wheel on and take it for a test drive. Call the customer, give him the bill. Tell him it's ready for pickup and he needs to get some new brakes on it this week. Hub assembly done. Thanks for watching, everybody who stopped in. Appreciate all the likes and everything. Uh, hub assembly that was seized in there pretty good. We took our sweet time because we don't work too hard around here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go on Amazon and order me a hub shocker like right now <laughs> that, was a that was one of the situations where the hub shocker is your best bet Clips on to the whole hub assembly and you slam it And then you blam it Zip these lug nuts down check your torch uh, check your torque on them on the ground got multi torque settings on our impact I do kind of like these lug nuts they really they're one piece so they don't swell right. except for for some reason they love to rot up thanks for the like rich appreciate you who else did we miss in the chat we missed Janessa with the like on Facebook hey. Crisscross off the top. Stuck in the side just a little. Pick up all your toys. Set the car on the ground. Check your torque on your lugs. Take her for a test drive. Make sure you got no ABS codes coming up. Bada boom. Give her a little spin key. Oh, it sounds outstanding. You hear that, guys? That's just from a little Bensky backing plate. You take yourself a little hammer. And a strong screwdriver. Hammer over there. Where's my big old driver? Blunt hammer. I know what you're talking about, but I don't. I've never moved it. Where's she hiding? I'd probably use this Push that backing plate back a little bit. 
We did a lot of hammering on it. Find out where it's catching, and there's a huge rust lip on the rotor. <clears throat> so that's it's probably just coming around rubbing that rust lip. All wheel drive, no uh, front wheel drive on this one. That's it though. Oh look, we got 27 on TikTok. What's up? Hey. Maybe, maybe we should maybe we should work on something else. What do you want to work on, Jamie? I don't know, man. That's a good question. We don't... It's beer 30. <laughs> well, we get this thing down, we can, we can poke fun at my truck. <laughs> we, you gotta spin this and let me know where it's catching. Let me go there and spin it for you. You spin me right around, me right around. Yeah, I can see it moving the dust cover. It looks like it's on the top. It's catching. That'll make a hell of a noise on the road. Right there. Yep, I can see it. It's catching a rust lip on the rotor. It is. Yeah, it's a huge rust lip on the rotor. All right, so I just got to push back on this top side. little better, but no, we need a hammer. There's a hammer right down there by your foot. By your foot, other way. Right here. This shield does not want to bend. It's a tough shield. Huge lip. You can see it coming around every time. Whoa. I'm lost. Now go back the other way. Something stuck on there. Oh, it's fine. That. We haven't pressed in the brake pedal yet. Then we got that pad that's kind of like hooked out. Definitely needs some brake work. We'll call him up and say, if you can, bring it back in this week for some pads and rotors. Full show. Nasty on the inside. Nasty. We only had permission to do a hub assembly today. There we go. That's better. Of course, they're busy right now. Pick up your toys. Pick up your toys. Yep, can't get more toys out unless you put your, new, your already played with toys away. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Gotta put our toys away. We're gonna do it. <laughs> Why we got 156 watching on TikTok now? Sweet. What are you guys doing here? Go find somebody better to watch. <laughs> Go check out oh, Snake man. Fab or uh, Rastamon Bills. We're the best here. Best, the best, the best, sir. <laughs> Niners. This thing is 
fun. Uh, what do we want to work on next? Let me turn the tables. Yeah, you better take your... Uh, How the turntables. How the turntables. Press that brake pedal in and out a bunch of times. Go check your love nut torque in the driveway. We got this whole uh, we got this whole setup here, little streaming table, live on Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, Facebook. It's my little streaming setup that I can roll around, make videos on, stuff like that. Battery's getting low on the on the laptop. See if I could turn this table without dropping any cameras. Really, that's all the work we had today. We got everything done today. This is the shop. Got a wash bay over there. Uh, back behind that big door, we got another bay that is now like a game room, pretty much. Yeah. For the other camera. Wash bay over there. Basically four big rooms we got. Thanks for stopping in, guys. Hey, beer 30. Let's go. What up, moods? Thanks for the follow, Adrian. What's up? What's up? What do you guys want to do now? You want to you wanna melt some stuff with a torch or something? What do you want to do? This camera needs to go up. Cockeyed. There we go. Oh, I can't think of anything cool to do. Got our job done. We're gonna go take this uh, RV for a test drive. Ignition fuse keeps blowing. Can't really take the whole setup on a test drive. Once I leave Wi Fi, we're gonna have nothing around here. Waiting on parts for Dodge Magnum out there. What else we got?
I got nothing scheduled for you guys. We got tires tomorrow. If you guys want to watch me do some tires, I guess we can go by and do some tires tomorrow. Snap, we got a four wheeler we can uh, rewire. I can bring that four wheeler in here and we can do that. That box of fuel injection clamps. Yes, sir. That's the next thing you do is bring that tank. Work on that. What tank? Air tank. Air tank. Oh, we're, we're waiting on that anyway. It'll be in in two days. Two days? Yeah. Two days. Prime delivery. Gotta love them. Alright, Jim Branch, join up. Ah, oh, man, we got a lot of people joining in. One right after the other. What were you saying? Let's start torching metal for fun. Let's torch metal for fun. Find something good to torch. That's fun.
Ought to entertain them somehow. We could bring them over to the bench. Need a metal cart like that one. We do need something like that, don't we? Yeah, do we get a stand, a metal stand somewhere we can use? Get that other metal cart. Steel control arm. Thanks for the like, Frank. What are they gonna do next, guys? We'll find out on this episode of Crazy Stuff and Pearl Grub. You wanna make some art? Make some art. Make some art. Oh, yeah, man. You want me to do some welding? See how long it takes for this to get hot. It's getting there. Oh, Days we're gonna get you a plasma cutter. There we go, now we're not. Make sure you're wearing open toed uh, footwear for this, too, by the way, guys. Bring them both over, huh? Try not to get the sparks on your lenses. Got my toe a little bit. Woo! I have one hot down my uh, my pant leg. I want to get boot. it so that it starts curving. Yeah. There we go. It's starting to fall. Woo! There she goes. Sheesh, that's Mama. Most of There's the money shot. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Press away. Here we go. Yeah. 
Hanging out on the ground. What about trying that? That's hot. Trying out the uh, hot rod induction on that stud. Hot rod. Let's check her out. It's hot rodding time. Are those cameras pointed right there? Right there? I think I see myself. You got that, uh... That, uh, uh hour cord? Uh, yeah. Right behind you. Right up over here in yonder. Right up over in yonder. Wherever it's yonder. We're just gonna do a live stream of like melting metal one of these days. Plug it in, plug it in. Can they see the stud in the camera? Yeah. All right, this is a hot rod heat induction tool. I'll bring you guys over here. You guys can get a little, a little closer to the action. See what's actually going on. My, my phone is TikTok and the. I wonder if we should get electronics near it or not. Probably not. Not that close, Jamie. Something might. It's smoking that that stud. But well, how Smoke long will it, it take to turn red hot? We'll find out. She's, they no, can't see it. Uh, they can't see it on the big computer, which would be your right hand. There we are. Now you are you blocking the back camera? No, nope. because the other camera's on top. I mean, it's smoking the rust off, but it's not turning it red hot. It's Mix. starting to kind of get red hot. Yeah, there she is. Oh, she's red hot now? She's starting to get hot. I can see the heat. It's right in between the coil there. About halfway down. Nice and red. Nice and red. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera or not. He doesn't want to get he doesn't want me to get too close. Yeah, got a little cherry. There's some cherryness to it. If I use the smaller coil, it might have been more direct. Yeah, it's cooled off now. Yeah, yeah buddy. That's fun. So this is the uh the hot rod electromagnetic field Tesla super thingamajigger. Super conductor! Uh. For all of our vape specialists, same idea when you make your own coils or you buy them online or whatever you do with them. What do they got to melt now, Danny? Oh man, the possibilities are endless. You want to melt aluminum this time? Aluminum's hard to melt. It doesn't retain heat, you know? No, it don't. It's more fun. You want to clip it up like so or something? You can get some welding clips. Actually, this would make this would make a good eyeball or boob for a robot. If you want to make a a robot, an eyeball or a boob? Yeah, it'll make a good boob for a sexy robot. Well, there's <laughs> see a big boob in front of me right now. <laughs> nah, I'm just I'm just gonna end the, I'm just gonna end the live stream. We should come up with some ideas for stuff to make, though. Yeah, for sure. I mean, but are we shutting down like on 100 people, though? Because they're definitely still no. watching. No, I just dropped down to six. All right, yeah, we're losing people. That's all right. No, that happened before we started melting stuff. We weren't quick enough. The algorithm threw a bunch of people into our chat. Picked cool. up some vowels from it, though. Heck yeah. We got the home assembly done today. That was the only thing on the agenda that we were live streaming. I didn't expect for 300 people to jump into the TikTok chat. Right, that was pretty cool. Right when we were wrapping up and there was nothing to show. I appreciate that for sure. Yeah. Fun time, especially when you guys get into it, you know, start chatting back and forth, it's fun. Thank all you. right, we'll catch you all later. Later on, y'all. Take care. Laura said hello in the Facebook chat.
Hello. She's got a little badge next to her name. I don't know what that means. Oh, that's yeah. the profile picture. Never mind. I looked at it wrong. <laughs> we got a sub from Dana and a sub from 